Whether you love it or hate it, the Steam Deck has a built-in sensor that feeds the software data based on the movement and orientation of the device. And while few of you are likely to use motion controls in every game, it can be helpful to zero in on an enemy while aiming in a first-person style game. But sometimes that data ends up being less accurate than it could be. And thankfully, Valve has a feature built into SteamOS that will help you to calibrate the gyro sensor inside of the Steam Deck. We can find this by pressing the Steam button on the left side of the deck here, and then selecting the Settings menu. From here, scroll down again so that we can see the Controller menu. And now you will have access to the calibration and advanced settings software. Now from here, we're gonna go down to the gyro calibration on the left side of the screen. And right off the bat, you should be able to see the status of your Steam Deck gyroscope. You can see that data while you move the device around. The pitch, yaw, and roll data will be reflected on screen and you'll be able to monitor it while adjusting. This is also a good way to double check to see if your device has any drift related issues. But even if you don't notice anything right here, or while you're playing a game, it's likely a good idea to tap on the Calibrate button right here. Doing so will then begin the Steam Deck gyroscope calibration process, so be ready for it. And once it begins, you'll have four seconds to set down the Steam Deck on a flat surface. Let's go ahead and calibrate this device right here. So we're going to tap on calibrate and then we have four seconds to set it down. Shortly after that, you should see whether the Steam Deck has detected any type of issue. You can see right here, calibration has succeeded and the stationary sensor noise has been recorded. And to top it all off, drift correction has been found. Once you get that calibration succeeded message, you can then pick the device up and tap B to go back. Now again, you're going to see that data right on your screen. And if you want, you could do the calibrate option again. Again, we just wait for calibration succeeded, and then we press B to go back. Now that the software has finished its calibration tests, we can check to see if things are actually fixed. If you noticed the drift issue from this raw data page, then it should be easy to spot if it has been fixed. But if you first realized that there was a gyroscope related issue within a specific game, now is the time to go ahead and load up that game to test out and make sure that the calibration indeed did work. If you're still having gyroscope related issues, then it may actually end up being hardware related. I would then try to re-image the Steam Deck before contacting support at Valve, as that will eliminate any possibility of it being software related. And it's possible that Valve may have a fix available to you. If not, then they will likely initiate an RMA if the device is still under warranty. However, they also have a repair service that you could purchase to get things fixed.